We live in an era where the fear of labels like naive and idealistic has turned too many of us into glorified handmaidens of neoliberalism. We clip our own wings, stuffing the feathers into pillows and choosing sleep over rebellion. What more is left to say about global warming? What more to say about the puppeteer politicians and CEO warlords who would choose numbers in a bank account over the safety and security of literally billions of people in developing countries? Coal is a dangerously addictive substance. They want to dig it up and sell it. Dig it up and burn it. Dig it up and turn it into profit. And we never seem to learn that you can't negotiate with those sorts of terrorists. That kind of power doesn't share its toys willingly. Boom bust cycle. Workers are expendable. Cut you off, leave you hanging, just collateral. The pay is never quite enough to cover all the debts. Bosses come and go, but the bank never forgets. Farmland to wasteland. The mine is just a parasite. No one wants to bite the hand, but the feed doesn't taste right. First Nations owners barely even get a look in. Stripping native title, now we see what's really cooking. All the company wants is profit and death. But I'm wasting my breath. There are already more than enough poems about climate change and apocalypse, about third world famine, trees going extinct, and oh, what legacy will we leave our grandchildren? YouTube has an entire warehouse full of computer servers just to store all the poems and rap verses that super earnest environmentalists have filmed about coal mines, global warming, and how one day all the forests will be deserts. And you know what? I'm tired of despair. I want poems about utopia green cities where the buses are free, the bike lanes are wide, the streets are leafy and every rooftop is either solar panels or veggie gardens. That's not unrealistic. To crave a world where sustainability is the priority, where wealth is shared rather than hoarded, where the rivers run clean, where the soils are dark and loamy and everyone has a secure home, we know a better world is possible. We glimpse it from the threshold between sleep and sunrise and we are hungry for it and we will fight for it we're going to make so much noise that you can't ignore it and we will win because you've got the dollars but we've got the numbers and now we're all waking up from our comas and slumbers we're all standing tall because you've gone too far you've been caught with your hand in the cookie jar and this is the moment this is the line in the sand when we all stand up to protect this land because we got a vision for a brighter future and if you don't listen we're going to substitute yeah this is the turning point now the dragon's awake now the fires are lit because you've made a mistake no one wants the coal the business model's all wrong and if the trucks start to roll you better bet we're locking on there are thousands of us our supporters number millions we're going to mobilize a whole army of civilians and if you don't like it you might as well resign because there's no way we'll ever let you build that mine there's no way we'll ever let you build that mine there's no way we'll ever let you build that mine this is only the beginning <laughs>